I have a very unique experience of knowing sisters when I was young, and not just any sisters, but um, our sisters, my, my sisters. So when I was in first through third grade, I went to our SSA, um, Spiritus Sanctus Academies in Michigan. And um, I think the most beautiful thing about those schools is they really, the culture emphasizes an encounter with Christ. We would have a First Friday Eucharistic procession around the chapel and Father carrying the monstrance, and like, I just knew that that was Jesus, and I was following him with my eyes as he walked around the, the chapel, passing the pews, and as I was following him with my eyes, there was just a certain moment where I knew that Jesus was following me with his eyes, and I know that that moment um, is where my vocation sprang from. I had such a beautiful family. I admired my mom so much. You know, I had a lot of younger siblings that I felt like I had, was their second mom, and, and I just knew how beautiful the married life was. And I remember almost <laughs> shouting at the Lord, like, why don't you want that for me? Why don't you want something so beautiful and something that I desire for me? And it was almost like an immediate response in my heart, like, do you think I want anything? Or do you think I would give you anything less? One of the greatest gifts of a religious vocation, I think, for me is that gift of teaching and that um, gift of being a mother to like, I don't know, by the time I'm 85, how many children will I have, have um, been able to know and to love? I'm very competitive, so anything that involves winning um, is something that I enjoy. <laughs> I also love playing cards, um, winning at cards. Every evening we actually have the grace of, we call it recreation, um, where we spend time together um, playing cards or um, sometimes watching a movie or just talking or um, ways to recreate ourselves um, and enjoy our sisters. There's this big cabinet in our chap in our sacristy that was kind of rough and needed some work and so I asked if I could you know go to Home Depot and buy some things to fix it up and so um, I'm in the process of sanding and refinishing um, this big giant cabinet. <laughs> And I'm having so much fun. I feel like St. Joseph. <laughs> uh. Giving your life to God might seem like you're, you have to give everything. And I think that the real beauty of a vocation is that God, Jesus lets you say yes. Um, and he also lets you say no. And it is all on you, but um, there's so much f freedom in knowing that he He's always, he's always choosing you. Like he's always um, asking you again and again, like, will you follow me?